today we are starting our day here in Treeburg, here in the Black Forest. And today we're gonna check out this, this town, which is a really quaint little town here. Um, and we have a couple goals. We're trying to find uh, some cuckoo clocks. Maria's mom is getting ready to head back to the States later uh, this week. So she wants to find a cuckoo clock to send back. And then also we wanna try some Black Forest cake. And see a waterfall. Yeah. We just parked here by this Etika, which has public parking. Uh, it's right here in the center of the town. This town is a tourist hotspot uh, because it has a few uh, things that are very unique to this town. It has Germany's tallest waterfall and it has the world's largest cuckoo clock. So those are two things we probably wanna check out today. Also here is the Black Forest Museum. Treeburg has a lot to offer for a day trip if you're coming here to visit the Black Forest. This is probably a good place for you to stop. First stop, we're gonna go into the House of a Thousand Clocks and take a look at the cuckoo clocks, which are famous to this area. the clock looks like on the inside with all the mechanisms and cogs and it's pretty cool <laughs> this cuckoo clock is only 19,900 euros so this is showing how they carve out the designs to go on the cuckoo clock So they even have an area where you can kind of decorate your own clock. You can add in your little figurines, different animals and designs. So it's pretty cool. There are so many clocks here, all kinds of different designs. The ones that look pretty like traditional wooden scenes like this, even a lot more like modern ones, they play music, um, pretty, pretty cool. So if you do plan on coming here and buying a cuckoo clock, expect to spend you know several hundred to even several thousand dollars to get a, a cuckoo clock. I mean, which they are like handmade and there's a lot of effort and time that goes into making these. So, you know, I can say it's worth it. It's a pretty cool uh, souvenir to be able to take back home. So we found a few designs at the Cuckoo Clock store that we liked, so we took some pictures of them. They were gonna continue shopping. And next we're gonna head to Treeberg Falls, which is the tallest waterfall here in Germany. So it was eight euros per person to come see the waterfall. And they also had an option where you can buy a little bag of peanuts to feed uh, the squirrels here. What do you have? Peanuts. What are they uh, for? Um, I was feeding them. Um, squirrels. Are, I'm excited to see them. Feed the squirrels, and you're excited to see them. Yeah.
So in total, the waterfall is 163 meters tall and it is very beautiful. All of the, the cascades that are following uh, the waterfall going down the hill, it's really pretty. So it is a, an uphill walk. Uh, you can go up to the top of the waterfall, um, but part of it is paved at least. And it's nice to be able to just hear the roar of the waterfall and cascades as you're just walking along. Um, it's a very beautiful day today. So we have finally found a squirrel that we can feed. We've been walking uh, all around this waterfall and we finally found a squirrel. So we just threw some peanuts. So check this out. So this was a really nice trail to be able to come see the, the waterfall. It was mostly paved, or if it wasn't, it was like flat uh, gravel. So I was able to push the stroller the whole entire way. Um, and it was so cool how they have uh, the different bridges that go over the stream. So if you don't want to hike the whole way up to the very top, um, there's different ways to just go down uh, and make it a shorter hike. Um, but it was so beautiful. Uh, it was really nice to hear the sound of the waterfall just the whole way along with the sound of the birds and the and the wildlife. It was really, really a great hike. Definitely, if you come here to Treeburg, come check out the, the waterfall. So the trail also takes you to this little pond called Bergsea and there's a really nice playground back here. So we're going to let Griffin play a little bit uh, and there's also a restaurant we're going to stop at for lunch. It's getting ready to rain, so we timed it just in time that we can eat while, while it's raining. Just a short drive down the road and we are at the original uh, world's largest cuckoo clock. So you can come visit it for free. It's just like a, a couple minute drive down from where we were at Bergsey. So let's go check that out. And also they have the world's largest snail. Isn't that right Griffin? Show them. Wow, that's gigantic. It's so cool that you can go inside and see all of the mechanisms and workings. See all the cogs turning. It's pretty cool so we got here right before three o'clock so we're gonna go outside and see it go off just in time so it was only two euro per uh, adult to get in to come see this clock uh, which is very reasonable so they also have a little playground out here for the kids to play on so yeah pretty nice little little stop if you're here in Treebird. We have one minute, can't wait. All the anticipation is really building. <laughs> well, the bird came out and cuckooed three times because it's three o'clock. Yeah. It's not a big production. Mm -mm. It's uh, nice and simple, but yes. Well, and make sure you're here at the top of the hour, because if not, you're not gonna see it. So you gotta get here right when it's gonna cuckoo. It actually was like- It was a few a couple minutes, minutes late. Yeah. late, so yeah. maybe they do that because people are mm -hmm. trying to rush you and get yeah. here and they may be a little late. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice little thing to stop by. And it is, it see. was really cute. So 
next I'm gonna check out the Black Forest Museum which I believe is also included with your ticket to the waterfall. So it's nice that it's free, you can go check that out too. So the Black Forest Museum is pretty cool. It tells about the history of this area with uh, their wood carving and then into the watchmaking and clock making and just all of the effort and uh, time and detail that goes into to making those. So it's pretty neat. It has a lot of really old clocks, even um, some that you can like put money in and it, and it plays like a tune or music or has different figurines that do certain things. So that's pretty neat uh, to check out here also. So there's also a really cool section where it talks about the different minerals and uh, gemstones and stuff that are in this area. Yep. And it looks like it's like an underground mine that you get to walk through. So that's pretty cool. I know Griffin loves it. I think the Black Forest Museum was worthwhile, especially if you have enough time. Uh, just stop in, it's been like 30 minutes or so just to walk around, kind of see some of the history of the area, and yeah, I think it's, it's pretty cool. Also with your ticket to the waterfall, you have access to this place called the Treeberg Fantasy, uh, which is right next to the Black Forest Museum, but basically it is an area where they have all these different backdrops where you can come in and take photos, and it's kind of unique. So I'll show you what, what it looks like. Don't let it fall. Make up. Chopping wood. Whoa, you're silly. Flower. So lastly, to finish our first day here in the Black Forest, uh, we're just gonna do a quick hike up to the castle ruin close to where we're staying in Sealbach. Um, so hopefully we can get uh, some good views um, of the Black Forest area, especially from the top of this castle ruin. Made it to the top of this castle ruin and it is incredible. So, so cool to see all the surrounding landscape and this is a really nice castle ruin. Like a lot of the walls are still standing. So it kind of gives you uh, a perspective of how tall the castle was. So definitely pretty cool to see. So I'm gonna try to send up my drone and see if I can get some cool aerial shots. <laughs> 